Hello and welcome to the Amstrad Games. We've got a packed program today brought to you exclusively on the 464 and the 6128. There's Grand Prix racing where the hot favorite is Bill Wilson. Then it's boxing with heavyweight champion Bone Crusher Wilson. But stay with us now for live coverage of Wildman Wilson's daring attempt to jump 25 buses on a motorbike. Amstrad <laughs> computers, loads more fun. Okay, before I start today's video for a CPC Games CD, if you like what you see, stay hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new video and it also helps my channel out too. So as many of you are aware, I normally do setup guides, but today's going to be a little bit different. This is CPC Games CD. Now this is already set up for us. All we need to do is download this just pop CPC Games CD into your favorite web browser and download the ISO image of this. So here we go, this is the CPC CD ISO. All we need to do is mount this. So if I right click on the file and I'm gonna to go to open with Windows Explorer. This is then gonna mount it if we press open. And here we go, it's mounted as my D drive. So what we can actually do with this is actually use this as it is and mount it each time, or you can copy the contents of what's on here onto a, say, a USB stick. Now we can actually copy this to the computer itself, that's fine, but the problem is then, is that we're gonna need to reconfigure the paths, which there's a lot here. And given the size of this under 500 megabyte, I can't really see this being a big issue anyways. So let's open up this program. What we're going to do is just go down to cbcgamecd.bat, just double left click, and Windows protected your PC. More info, run anyway. And here we go. So we're in CPC Game CD. Now, if you're familiar with Game Base, and I've covered Game Base setups a few times for different systems, you'll likely think this looks very similar, and it does. The layout's very similar too. So what we can do is just go ahead and directly open up a game. If I double left click on say 1943, I've got different options here. Even gives us a startup command how to load these games if necessary. If I go to info, it's gonna give us some info on this particular game. We even got screenshots just here for this particular game. Setup, we can actually launch this in full screen. And we can even select the model of this. Now, most of this is already set up already, and this is going to be using the 6128 Amstrad model. We even got resolution set to low or high just here. So, as we can see just here, it's pretty much good to go. It's even going to give us keyboard commands for things like loading snapshots and saving snapshots, which is loading save states pretty much. So, what we're going to do next then is actually run the game. So it's auto typing the commands to run the game. And this is obviously a cracked version. So I'm gonna press no for infinite energy. Like I say, we also got the option here to boot up in full screen mode. So if I just change over to a different game, I'm going to try most people's favorite Barbarian 2. Now, if I right click on this again and I go to run and I'm going to go to setup, launch this in full screen and we're going to run. And here we go again, it's going to auto type in the command to launch the game.
And a really cool feature with CPC Games CD is that we've actually got the ability here to change emulator. So if I go to emulator at the top, by default, it'd be running from internal Caprice 32. If I change it over to another emulator such as Arnold, and I open up, say, Spellbound Dizzy, First of all, for this, what I need to do is just memorize the command to load this game. So in this case, it's run and in quote marks spell diz. So I'm going to go to run. And then just simply type in my command. So spell diz. Now, before I start this game by pressing enter, if I go to settings, I can actually go to joystick and then change over to the correct controller. So in my case, I'm using, say, an Xbox controller and I can even use joy to key just here. So lots of options there for controlling through controllers. But let's just run this game by pressing enter. And we can even play around with some video settings with an uh, emulator like Arnold. If I go to settings and display, I can then go to say monitor settings and I can play around with the brightness on the game. And as you can see, that's now altering the brightness. And of course, this is going to be another crack copy. So infinite lives, I'm going to put no. And I'm going to load up the 128K version. Now, if you don't like the layout of CPC Games CD, this uh, ocean look in the background, if we go to Tools, Options, from here, under Settings, we can go to Skin, and we can turn this off, Apply, OK, and now we've got this bright blue. Uh, we can also add our own skin to the background of this, so again, go to Tools, Options, and under Skin, I can actually browse. So from here, CPC 464, say, and Apply, and okay and that's just a little glimpse of how to do that so obviously this doesn't look too great if we go to view at the top we can actually disable toolbar and we can customize how this looks so as you can see as i'm taking things away it's looking a lot different so we can also change the color of the font so at the moment it's obviously yellow if we go down to system colors apply okay we've now got black font so it's a bit more stand out but really that's up to you and however you want this to look now if you want a quick easy way to get to your games if we just say go to arcade on the side just here we can actually narrow things down so we can look for a game such as abu symbol for example and if i actually go back to emulator i'm going to change this back over to say internal caprice and let's run this game And that's it for today's CPC Games CD. So like I said at the start, not so much a setup guide, but just a video showing you what CPC Games CD is. So as a lot of you are aware, I do a lot of retro emulation setup guides, but like I say also at the start of the video, this one's pretty much done for you. If you do want to copy it to your computer, then just be aware that you will need to change the paths of say the emulators otherwise things aren't going to boot and that can be a little bit annoying because there's a lot of things to change default paths for anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time